wave box is a dual wave shaper distortion that allows you to combine two different shaping curves and there are two LFOs for modulation, an envelope follower for modulation, and a filter to help tame the frequencies. And you can control everything else with the master to get the perfect balance for your mix. I'm going to play a little bit of music. And there are no wave boxes applied to any of this right now. And now I'm going to turn on wave box for all four instruments. And notice how all the sounds come to life and start moving, kind of jumping out of your speakers. So let's take a look at the individual instruments. I've got a guitar playing chords. I can turn this off and just hear the chords in their pure form. And we've got wave box creating this sort of tremolo effect. And this is happening because we've chosen our certain type of curves here. We can change the balance. And we are modulating curve one with our LFO. You can hear the speed change. Add curve two and if we like for a little more distortion. I'm gonna take LFO two, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna set it to the cutoff of the filter. And we can see our filter moving now. I'm gonna click on the filter and select band pass. And now we're moving our band pass filter. Now this might be a little bit more than I wanna move it. So I'm gonna turn the amount down and I'm gonna change the rate a little bit. And that's going at the same rate as our LFO one. We can turn off the sync and then just have a time value. But I'm gonna go back to sync and I think I like the one eighth triplets time. Now let's have a listen to our drums. This is without Wavebox, and now we'll turn on Wavebox. We're getting some extra energy. I might lower the mix a little bit, so we still get some of the clean signal coming through. And let's hear that within our mix. I'll bring the mix down just a little bit. Here are the keys sound without any wave box. There's a little delay at the end of this. I'm gonna turn on wave box now. And we're getting some movement and some sparkling in the top part of the sound. It helps it cut through the mix a little bit. I to put everything back on. I'll turn off wave box on the keys. Keys get a little lost in there. When I turn wave box back on, we get some nice energy in there and they cut through the mix a little better. We've used the filter to sort of tame those high-end frequencies on this because it can get a little harsh. I don't want it that sparkly, so I dial it back a little bit to smooth things out. Finally, let's have a listen to the bass without any wave box. This is mostly a sine wave with a little bit of frequency modulation on it. So it's very low. It's easy to get lost in the mix, especially if you don't have speakers capable of reproducing the bass. But we can use wave box to bring out some of that high energy. So we're getting a little extra buzz in there and this will help your bass sounds cut through your mix so that you can hear them on all kinds of systems, which is very important. I'm dialing back the cutoff a little bit to let some more buzzing through. We could bring that back, maybe somewhere around there. And again, let's listen to the bass without wave box. It's a little bit lost with wave box though, it comes back forward in the mix. So that's wave box. Thanks a lot for watching. It's a really powerful distortion unit. It's capable of some wild and extreme sounds, but also some more subtle sounds that can help improve the quality of your mix and make it come alive. Check out audiothing.net or go to the link in the description of this video to learn more about Wavebox.